Hi, Magali from Bocelli Di Canal. Today, I present you a Dutch Tea Cruiser Stevens 1140, built in 1994 and uh, sold in 1995. This is the interior. You have an entire helm on the port side. Next to it, a sliding window, very useful for manoeuvres and also to bring some fresh air. Let's have a spin around. Headroom here is one. 90, 1 meter 90, everywhere on the boat. Nice saloon under the carpet. Perkins Sabre, 135 horsepower. My vendor um, tell me there's 3,000 hours since new. This is the half cabin, double berth, 130 by 190, almost walk around with a small passage on the starboard enough to just walk and you have a hatch escape hatch which help for ventilation purposes this layout with traditional wardrobes and cupboards and you have your en suite shower and heads this is electric heads wedge basin and a nice shower size is 70 centimeters by 90 centimeters headroom in the shower is 1.85 so good headroom on the boat, almost everywhere 190. Lots of storage, nice wood finish, quality wood finished. Here yeah, a little look around. Now let's go back to the saloon area. And go in the galley area. Dinette has been transformed into cupboards that was done a long time ago and it's quite useful. You have a full equipped gas cooker, fridge, uh, oven and a grill in gas. The fridge you're going to see is damaged, the freezer is damaged, so it creates a lot of ice. That's the reason why our vendor use only a uh, cool box now, 12 volt uh, cool box. It's function, but obviously it needs uh, to be at least fixed. This is the cupboards over the old dinet area, also a microwave, so you've got plenty storage to facilitate your life in the galley. Here's a cool box, second cool box included. Let's have a look at the forward cabin, two berths, traditional two berths, I think it's 70 wide by 190, bounce thruster under the mattresses. A little wardrobe and storage underneath. Also a hatch. You can't see in my video, but there is a hatch. And just next to it is the second head, this time a manual head with wedge basin. That's it. So if you want more information about this dusty cruiser located on the Canal du Midi, do not hesitate to contact Magali from Bochet Midi Canal. I'll be happy to help.